Hey everyone. So real quick, I wanted to go over how to kind of use and navigate your library website. So we're going to go over and I'm going to share my screen and we're going to uh, talk through how to navigate this website a little bit. So when you get on to just the EKU website, and this is the link that I put into your helpful links and or your projects uh, module, depending on which class you're in. And then um, you'll just click on that, open in a new tab. It'll take you here. And I want to kind of touch base. If you just want to explore anything, if you just want to type in, and it could be movies, it could be books, it could be academic resources, it doesn't matter. You just have this topic and you're interested in exploring it or you want to search for something, then you just type it in right here. Search the whole library for everything. Now, if you're looking for peer reviewed sources for one of your classes and or you need something for an actual research project or say a paper you're writing, then what you're going to want to do is go to um, databases and you'll click on that. Sometimes you're going to have a particular database that somebody wants you to use. So say you're in an education class or you're learning about teaching, you might end up having to use the Chronicle of Higher Education. Or um, maybe you're in um, psychology and they want you to use this one. Um, there are several different ones. Now, if you just want to broadly search and have probably the most luck finding, you're going to go to Academic Search Ultimate because that's going to give you the most wide variety of places you can find resources. Okay. Um, so when you go into here, it's going to give you a screen like this. Here's what I want you to do. There's a couple buttons that are very important to click even before you go up and put the things you want in. And I'm going to show you this two ways. First, we're going to do it before we do this, and then I'll show you the oops, I didn't do that before I need to modify. Okay, you're going to want to go down and hit full text because you don't want just an article summary because that's not going to help you. And you want peer reviewed. Last, you're going to go in and do publication date, and you're going to start no more than like, you only want the last 10 years at best unless you're searching for something that's really old intentionally, like you're looking for a historical document or something of that nature, in which case there are other search engines that'll probably do you better. Um, but there is all these different things over here and you can find those within these documents. So you still have government documents as an option right here. Um, if you just want academic journals, you can click just uh, academic journals um, you're going to want, again, that year to be it's 2022, so oops, 2012, um, and then you don't have to put an end year. If you're looking for, again, document type, you don't necessarily need to put anything in there. Um, if you're looking for something like a, any kind of visual, you can look in here and click for that. Again, that's good when you're looking for historical documents or you have a history class or something like that. Um, you're gonna use those less often in maybe some of the things that we're gonna do. However, if you do a project where you're examining historical photos or something of that nature, then you might want to check some of this stuff. Um, but really, I'm gonna do this like you're looking for peer reviewed sources. And again, this button is gonna be your friend. It is going to be the thing that keeps you from finding sources that then you cannot use. So then you're going to go back up and you're going to fill in. Um, let's say we're going to look up something about gender and sports coverage. Okay, so you type in what you what your main thing to be. So the main thing you're studying. So generally, if you're in a course, you're going to want whatever your course topic is up here. And then the thing you're being more specific about be second. And then if you have a third thing to be even more specific, then put it in the third. Um, and then hit search. And then it's going to pull up all of these different things. So here's um, anthropological inquiry on gender inequality. Um, Here's your 
uh, a media coverage on women in politics and sport. And here's going to be all sorts of different articles, right? And every one of these articles, you're going to get the full text. You're going to um, do this. Now, say that you forgot to click any of those buttons, okay? So let's go back and unclick a bunch of stuff. And then we're just, okay, so see, I don't have any of that stuff clicked now. And what if I did the same thing? Gender and sports coverage. Search. Now this time, I'm gonna get a bunch of different results all the way back to 1991. I'm gonna get magazines, newspapers, but some of these things aren't gonna apply to what I need for the class. So then I can go in and click this. It's gonna update. Um, I can go here and click 2012, whoop, 12. I don't know why I'm really key on that. Hit peer reviewed journal, it's gonna update. Then I could hit this, it's gonna update again. So even though, and see, it's gonna list all your modifiers. So when you go up here, you can always take, say you wanna take the date out and see if maybe you wanna do a cross-examination of articles about it early in the 90s versus articles now. You could take out the date. And boom, look, it's not over here anymore. So these are kind of just easy little things that you can learn um, to help you kind of navigate this. If you have issues, like so say um, you don't click that full text and you find one you like, but it says find full text or you're having issues finding full text when you click on these, um, you can go over here to ask that and it'll search. Say you really need to find something. Um, And then sometimes it'll give you, so I was typing in, I need help finding peer reviewed sources. And sometimes it'll give you different links to, that the library already has so that it will help you figure out how to do this. And then, or say, um, I need help finding articles on inequality in sports coverage and click go, okay? So you're gonna have all of these different things that are searching the need to know. If you do this, um, if you do this not on the weekend, I'm currently, well, no, it's not on the weekend. I'm not entirely sure why it's not running right now. Um, but usually there will also give you another link that you can ask a librarian and the librarian itself will pop up. Um, if you have any issues with that, or if you don't find this, I think you can also ask for a um, All right, subject specialist. So you can also go in here to subject specialist liaison librarians. And you can go by topic, so you can scroll down and there's women and gender studies, your sociology, social work, um, psychology. So you can go, for instance, uh, maybe you're in a sociology class. This is going to give you who you would want to talk to specifically about that that can help you regarding finding sources that are specific to sociology. And so you can schedule a research appointment. Um, you can also generally, yep, there's your email right there. You can shoot her an email and just say, hey, I'm having this question about this. And that gives you another person you can talk to. Um, let's see. Let's move backwards a little bit. Doo, doo, doo. Um, you can go back to the original home screen. Library Express, if you go into here, you'll log in. Doo, doo, doo. And you can request, see I'm requesting um, a copy of this thing for the class that one of the classes that I'm teaching, but you can create a request for something that we don't have in our library. So if you have a book, say you wanna read or say I've mentioned. Um, so like we don't have 
um, Living a Feminist Life by Sarah Ahmed in our um, library, but you can type in here everything that you want and have them request it for you from another library, you can request an ebook, maybe a book that is physically there. Um, and then you just go ahead and submit your request and your time frame, and maybe they can get it to you. Now, this doesn't always work, but most of the time they can get you something as long as there's an inner library loan system within the within the publishing company, which most academic sources are going to have. Um, but so those are kind of the key points. I want to point you back again to our home library screen. Um, you can also reserve a room here. This also has some research guides um, within the library is also housed um, some of your academic resources um, in the way of like your writing centers in there. There's also the um, tutoring centers in the bottom floor um, next to some of the study group space. Um, so there's several of these options. Again, you have live chat options. Um, there's all sorts of different things you can do this. You can also check out eBooks. Um, they have movies there. They have all sorts of other sources of media that you can use for outside class. Um, the last thing I'm gonna show you is that they also have um, what's called Canopy. And you can, I gotta log in, but I'm not gonna do that right now. EKU also has a thing called Canopy. Um, and that is actually, a website that allows you to watch a plethora of documentaries. Um, and so if you decide you have a topic you wanna to explore a little further, there are documentaries on just about everything in there and you have free access to as many of them as you want to watch. So if you get a wild, you know, inkling to learn about something that you aren't gonna take a whole course on or just you are mentioned in a course, but you don't have the time to really invest in reading a whole book, you can go in and pop in there and see if there's not like a 45 minute or an hour long video that you could watch or something. Or if you want to um, have like a discussion or lead a book group or a study group or something about one of them, that's a cool way to do that. Um, and you have complete access to it. Just log in with your EKU ID and or log in through the library. So those are kind of some of the resources through the library page that I just kind of want to um, touch base with you about, because I think that these are important resources that we don't always learn that are there. <laughs> um, and if I can get to you in some of your earlier classes, then maybe this will help you as you walk through your academic path. If you have any questions about that, you can... Uh, about the library website or anything that happens at the library or isn't at the library. You can touch base with any of the librarians. They're super helpful. Um, or if you have a question about something that I said on this, um, don't hesitate to ask me either. If I know the answer, I will more than happily answer it for you or I can point you in the right direction if nothing else. So um, if you guys need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. And I hope that this video helped you a little bit and being able to find your peer reviewed sources and some of your other resources that your library has to offer. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.